Now I'd like to tie for you a blue fox and this is going to be the winged version. The hook I have in the vise is a standard dry fly hook. It is a size 14. The thread I'm going to use is 14 Ot Visus and this is brown. And we're going to use hackle tips for the wings and it's not as hard as you might think. We're going to lay the thread down halfway and then we're going to come back up half of that for the proper wing position and we're going to start with blue done hackle tips get those tips aligned we're going to tie them both in at the same time and we're going to tie it in down here we're going to tie it in on that haircut And when we pick them up, we're going to have a minimal amount of barbel sticking out towards the front. I'm going to be careful that you don't rip that fine stem out. Always stand them up. Take your bodkin needle to help you divide them. And when you divide them in figure eight, you want to be as close to the stems as possible. So you don't push them forward as so much like that. I'm gonna go around this second. And it's gonna push it forward a little bit. just slightly. Now we can just hold them up since they're divided and wrap one more close to the, sha to the shafts. And we have our upright and divided wings. Come back to the tail area. Now for the tail I'm going to use ginger hackle fibers and I'm going to measure them and I want them to be about the length of the hook shank and I'm going to tie them in and place the excess between the wings for no other reason than it's a good place to get them on top I'm going to trim that For the rib, I'm going to use fine gold tinsel. And you want this the tinsel to end up on one side or the other. Going to put a little bit of wax on there. Now I'm going to take gray beaver and we want to use the natural materials that helps give it the buggy look. You get a little fiber sticking up between the tinsel. And I'm going to wind the body, come back, get it to the tail and wind it forward and you want to stop it before you reach the wing now I'm going to take the tinsel and I'm going to wind that tightly forward
Tie that off. Make sure you keep that tinsel tight. And secure that. Remove that excess. And now the hackle. I have a ginger hackle. I'm going to place the hackle right between the wings. And secure it. Hold those wings back. And wrap in front. And I'm going to take that hackle and I'm going to wind that. Oop. There we go. And now I'm going to hold the wings back and I'm going to rub that hackle right up to the wings to move it to the front. And I'm not using a hackle gauge this uh, I'm not using a hackle pliers this time because I have a long saddle hackle. And I'm gonna tie it off. The amount of turns with the hackle depends on you. You simply Stop it when you get to what you like. Remove the excess. Now I'm going to take my half hitch tool, give it a double half hitch, and push these back. maybe two times now I can wind the head give it a whip finish And then I can get rid of the excess. And that last drop that was on the hackle just rolled right down into it. And here we have a winged blue fox. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would share my channel with your friends. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.